entropy misconception regarding entropy what is the easiest definition of entropy understanding entropy of system and entropy of universe in this lecture i will teach you all the fundamental concepts about entropy which believe me no one is teaching you in the whole youtube community before starting the lecture click on the subscribe button and get access to our hundred of conceptual lectures for free now firstly let me clear your concept regarding entropy we know that entropy is disorder of a system but a lot of people misunderstood this term or this definition of entropy let me clear your concept about this definition of entropy let consider closed box a and closed box b let there are four molecules of gas in box a and there are also four molecules of gas in box b the available space for molecules in box a is small while the available space for molecules in box b is large now listen carefully over time the gas molecules both in box a and box b get different states due to random motion let me repeat this important statement over time the gas molecule both in box a and box b get different states due to random motion now the gas molecules in box a are moving freely in a small space compared to gas molecules in box b in physics we say that over time due to less available space in box a the gas molecules will get less disorderness while here in box b we say that over time due to large available space the gas molecules will get more disorderness simply remember that gas molecules and box a is less free to move while gas molecules in box b are more free to move thus i say that system of box a or system a is less disorder while system of box b or system b is more disorder system a is less disorder and system a has less entropy system b is more disorder and system b has more entropy thus from this example we learn that over time due to external factors the state of gas molecules changes hence the state of gas molecule changes entropy changes now let me clear the common misconception regarding entropy you often read or learn that people relate entropy with clean and dirty room they say that clean room is more ordered while dirty room is more disordered the clean room has less entropy and dirty room due to more disorderness has more entropy but this is wrong example let me explain it the first thing you should know about this example that it is the particular state of these rooms let consider that you add some amount of heat to this clean room by putting heater in it this addition of heat would increase the kinetic energy of gas molecules and the clean room they will start moving with greater speed hence the disorderness of gas molecules and disorderness of all the stuffs in the room would be large thus this clear room will have more entropy than this dirty room now the correct example is uh, let you are angry and you enter to this clean room you started throwing all the things in the room here and there thus you change the order of this clean room you change the entropy of this clean room similarly if you enter to this dirty room happily you just keep everything on its respective position thus you change the order of this dirty room you change the entropy of this dirty room thus remember that entropy doesn't depend only at one particular picture 
our absolute state of an object or anything. But over time, the state of the system changes due to many factors, thus entropy also changes. Now let me teach you that what is the easiest definition of entropy. Personally, I define entropy as the heat energy Q that is moving out of one hot medium and to another cold medium at the rate set by temperature T. The second standard definition of entropy is the unavailable or unusable energy within a closed or isolated system is known as a entropy. Let here let me clear the term unavailable energy or unusable energy or why we call entropy as unavailable energy. The answer is very simple. We dissolve sugar or salt and water. Chemical bonds among the sugar or salt molecules break down. The sugar molecules or salt molecules spread out and water. As a result, entropy of system increases due to disorderness of sugar or salt molecules. Now here is the important point. Can you and I use or utilize the energy released during bond breaking of sugar or salt molecules? The answer is absolute no. We cannot utilize or use this energy. This energy just increased the disorderness of system. Hence we call this energy as unavailable energy. Therefore it is unavailable energy which increases the entropy of a system. Entropy is denoted by S. The formula of entropy is S is equal to Q upon T where Q is the heat added or taken off to or from the system at temperature T. According to my personal experience, students do not have clear concept about entropy. It is because they do not understand entropy of the system and entropy of the universe. Thus let me firstly teach you entropy of the system and entropy of the universe. Hence entropy of the system. Let consider two objects, hot object and cold object. Let I call this hot object a system A and I call this cold object a system B. We have learned in one of our previous lectures that heat energy always transfers from hot object and to cold object until both the objects get equal temperature. And this state is known as a thermal equilibrium. We know that system A is hot, hence let its temperature is Ta, while system B is cold, hence its temperature is Tb. We know that temperature A is greater than temperature B. Now, as a result, a natural process of heat transfer will occur between this hot object and cold object. Let this hot object or system A losses heat Q. This cold object or system B will gain this heat Q. Here, remember that heat loss Q by system A is equal to the heat gain by system B. That is why I write single Q for the heat transfer. Now here is the most important concept which a lot of people do not learn. Let me teach you. Let the entropy of system A is SA and the entropy of system B is SB. Here system A losses heat Q. According to physics convention, heat loss is considered negative. Hence system A has lost heat negative Q. System B gains heat. Heat gain is considered positive and system B has gained heat positive Q. We know that entropy S is equal to Q upon T. The entropy of system A is SA is equal to negative Q upon TA. While the entropy of system B is S is equal to positive Q upon TB. It means that the entropy SA of system A decreased while the entropy of system B increased. Thus from this example, we learn that 
एट सिस्टम लेवल एफ इन ऑब्जेक्ट लॉसिस हीट क्यों इट्स एंट्रोपी एस डिक्रीजेस और इट्स एंट्रोपी एस इज नेगेटिव सेकेंडली एट सिस्टम लेवल एफ इन ऑब्जेक्ट गेंस हीट क्यों इट्स एंट्रोपी एस इंक्रीजेस और इट्स एंट्रोपी एस इज पॉजिटिव नोट डाउन दिस इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स नो लेट मी टीच यू द कंसेप्ट ऑफ एंट्रोपी ऑफ द यूनिवर्स remember that entropy of the universe is the change in entropy del s are to measure or to learn the entropy of the universe we must measure the change in entropy i will give you two cases which will clear your concepts case number 1 let again consider a cold and a hot object we have learned that heat q will transfer from hot object q to the cold object let the initial temperature of hot object is t1 is equal to 60 kelvin and the initial temperature of cold object is t2 is equal to 30 kelvin let hot object losses heat q is equal to 300 joule and cold object will gain the same heat q is equal to 300 joule now we consider these two object as a universe are surrounding sounds crazy but this is how physics is learned now i am interested to find the change in entropy del s in these two objects or in this universe of two objects we know that the entropy of this hot object decreases due to heat loss while the entropy of this cold object increased due to heat gain now del s is equal to this cold system gained heat q hence its entropy is positive q upon its initial temperature t2 while the entropy of this hot system is negative q upon its initial temperature t1 we know that initial temperature of cold object is t2 and it is equal to 30 kelvin we also know that this cold object gained heat q is equal to 300 joule thus del s is equal to 300 joule upon 30 kelvin minus hot object losses heat q is equal to 300 joule and its initial temperature q is equal to 60 kelvin we get del s is equal to 10 joule per kelvin minus 5 joule per kelvin as a result we get del s is equal to 5 joule per kelvin thus this 5 joule per kelvin means that the change in entropy is positive therefore first case that entropy of the universe always increases let me repeat this important statement entropy of the universe always increases are the total change in entropy and the universe will always be positive now let me teach you the second case our case number 2 adiabatic process or reversible process adiabatic process is one in which no heat enters or leaves the system thus heat transfer q is equal to 0 the example of a diabetic process are the rapid escape of air from a burst tire or from a balloon the second example of a diabetic process is the formation of clouds in a diabetic process del s or change in entropy is equal to q upon t2 minus q upon t1 we know that heat transfer in a diabetic process q is equal to 0 thus del s a change in entropy would be 0 this case tells that change in entropy will be 0 a same for a diabetic process and a reversible process or you can say that entropy of the universe will always be 0 or always be constant in a diabetic process are in reversible process in case one we learn that entropy of universe will always be positive while in case two we learn that entropy of universe will always be zero 
are constant in a diabetic process are in reversible process. Thus, entropy of the universe del s is always greater than zero or equal to zero. Remember that at system level, entropy may be negative or may be positive depending upon the heat transfer. This was all about entropy. If you have learned something new in this video, then like this video and subscribe our channel for more conceptual lectures. Thank you very much for watching this lecture.